My name is Wal King, and I'll be testing a car battery using multimeters. This is the battery that I'll be testing. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta know which one is the negative terminal and which one is the positive terminal. If you don't know much about car, then you won't know that. For this battery, that one is the negative terminal and that one is the positive terminal. Usually the positive terminal will have a red plastic cover on it and you just got pull it out. This one doesn't have a cover. If you still have question of whether which one is the negative or positive, there should be a negative and a positive symbol on it by the battery. That's the negative pose. And there's a negative symbol right there. For the positive pose, there's a positive symbol right there. Here's the multimeters that I'll be using. The first thing you want to do is put the red lead and the black lead into this jack right here. The red lead will go into this jack. It has these symbols right here. Looks like it's a V a headphone. It's not a headphone, but the symbol looks like a headphone. And then an uh, EMA is right here. The red lead will go into this jack. And the black lead will go into the CON comp jack. Not every multimeter is going to look the same. If yours kind of look like this, then you want to have the selector range on the DCV range. The battery I'll be testing is a 12 volt, too, too low, so I want it at 20. I am now ready to test the battery. The number I want to see right here is a 12.6. I'll put the positive lead onto the positive post of the battery and the negative lead onto the negative post of the battery. The number I'm getting is 12.8. It's over 12.6, so 12.8 is good. If you get like a 12.5, your battery should be okay. If you get a 12.4, then you might or might not be able to start your car. If you get a 12.3, I believe you won't be able to start your car. And I got 12.8. It's over 12.6, so I'll say this battery is good. This is another multimeter I'll be using. The red lead will go into this jack right here. The symbols right here looks like the symbols from the yellow multimeter I was using. It has a V, the symbol that looks like a headphone in the EMA. I'll put the red lead into this jack right here. The black lead going to the COEM comp jack. There's something I want to mention. For this test, you don't want to mess with this jack right here. It says DCTNA. If you mess with this jack, you might damage your multimeters. So unless you know what you're doing, just don't mess with this jack, the DC TNA. And for this multimeter, it's more obvious. Right here it says battery load test. The battery I'll be testing is 12 volt. So I'll have the selector range on the 12V. There's some lights up here. When I test the battery, these gonna light up. It has a this one. 
this one has an X. This one, the symbol, I don't know what that is. And this one, the symbol looks like a check mark. If the battery is good, if you get like a 12.2, 12.3 reading or more, maybe even a 12.0, this light gonna turn green. The light under the check mark. This isn't reliable because with a 12.1, 12.2, it will turn green saying your battery is good, but you're not going to be able to start your car. The number up here is more reliable. The number you want to see up here is uh, 12.6. I will test the battery again right now. The red lead on the positive post, the black lead on the negative post. For this multimeter, the number I'm getting is 12.7. It went to 12.69. So the reading is 12.69. And the light on the the light on the check mark turned green, indicating that the battery is good. The reason I used two multimeter to test this battery right here is because there's so many multimeters out there and they're all different. So by using two multimeters, I'm hoping it will give you a general idea of how to use multimeters.